this is Sabia and today I'm going to show you what's in this box and now it's not yarn but it's yarn related I've bought these plexiglass boxes because I am going to rearrange my stash here you can see it I have too much yarn and I've already got two of these boxes and I need more so that's what I'm going to do today tag along So now that I've unpacked all of the boxes, the yarn has to go into the boxes and boxes back into the shelf. The only thing that I don't know is just how I should sort it. Right now I have them kind of sorted to weight. So there is all of the sport and DK. Then I have fingering in this shelf. Then I have my books and my magazines. And then I have worsted and above down here. And then I have an extra bag full of Shetland yarn. I think that I would try to sort them by weight, but then by color as well and see if I can get some nice gradients in the shelf. so nice as I said when I started to sort them after color I just couldn't let it be and unmatch them again so this is what it's going to look like by the way I found this hat that I made for my dad as a Christmas gift it's Mill Hill hat maybe I think by Andrea Rangel I can link the pattern in the description box and if you subscribe to her newsletter then it's a free pattern and I found these two leftovers and I made it in this it's a blend of um, alpaca wool and acrylic um, that my mom bought in the 80s and it was, she gave it to me and it was lying in my stash like in forever. So now it was, it was really nice that I could use it. And this is Sannes Tun Merino, I think it's called. A thin merino wool by Sannes. And I took hold both strands together and I really like how it turned out. Um, so I have to weigh these two and then they can go into the gray box as well. what it looks like it looks much more tidier than before a 
so up here I have some fabric and then I have the yarn that I found in the very end that I forgot that I had. Then here I have some blues and some pinks and purples. Then I have green and yellow, white and beige, gray, turquoise. Then my books and magazines. And then I'm having black and gray and brown and orange and red. And then some random stuff in this lid that I just turned around and now it's a tray. The big problem though is this little guy with the Shetland yarn in it. And Niklas was kind of the reason why I got the boxes in the first place because he was so annoyed that the, my shelf was such a mess and when we got the boxes then he said oh I'm so looking forward to not having all of your bags there anymore but now I didn't even fit the Shetland yarn I have too much, much stuff but the shelf itself Niklas built it for me and there is a similar spot on the wall next there where it says Iron Maiden and the geese um, so I just need another shelf more yarn what can you do Please let me know how you organize your stash. Um, I'm quite happy with the color grading because I have these transparent boxes so I think it looks really pretty, I love it. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, tell me how you organize your stash in the comments below and I will see you next Wednesday.